Hi guys, Vikas over here and this is Weird Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi. We will see how to interface BMP180 module with Raspberry Pi by using Java and Pi 4J. So if you are not aware of BMP180, it's a sensor module that lets you measure temperature and pressure and provides you an I2C interface to interact with the sensor. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the I2C bus of Raspberry Pi and for programming, we are going to use Java as I said earlier. And to interact with the GPI or the I2C bus over here, the Pi 4J library will help us. And if you are new to this like Java and Pi 4J on Raspberry Pi, you can check out my earlier tutorials on this for which I have given the links down below in the description. The only limitation that comes with BMP180 module is that its address is not configurable. So you can't put more than one BMP180 module onto the same I2C bus. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, before getting into the code, let's check out the datasheet of BMP180. And as I said, the BMP180 comes with I2C interface. So you need to read out the temperature and pressure data from BMP180 module by using the I2C bus. And uh, those temperature and pressure data are actually uncompensated data. So to calculate the real temperature and pressure, you also need to read out some calibration factors. And the calibration data or calibration coefficients are stored in the EEPROM of the BMP180 sensor. So getting into the flowchart of temperature and pressure calculation, you'll have a total idea how it can be done. So as it shows, first you need to uh, like read out some calibration factors. Those are like SC1, SC2, along with it has provided the addresses for it and the data type it returns, like short and unsigned short. And after reading out the coefficients, actually which has to be done once only, then you can read out the uncompensated temperature. That can be done by writing 0 cross 2e into the control register that is 0 cross f4. And the result has to be read out from the data register 0 cross f6 and 0 cross f7. And again, to read out the pressure data, which is again the uncompensated one, you need to write 0 cross 3 4 into the register 0 cross f4. Again, the data that has to be written is not exactly 0 cross 3 4. It is plus something like oversampling rate shifted by 6 bit. And after that, you need to read out the uncompensated data from registers F6, F7 and F8 and you can get the uncompensated pressure data out of it with some mathematical formulas and all. And over here you can see on the flowchart it is showing OSS that is the oversampling rate and it is used both for writing the value into the register or the control register 0 cross F4 and as well as converting the readout data from registers F6 to F8 to uncompensated pressure. So the OSS is the oversampling rate that you can define to have more accurate pressure data. So over here you can see the different oversampling rates and the modes that is ultra low power, standard, high resolution and ultra high resolution. So if you are like going for the ultra low power mode or the oversampling rate that is zero, you can straight ahead write 0 cross 3 4 onto the control register 0 cross F4. So like that you get the uncompensated pressure and temperature data and with some like mathematical formulas and all you can calculate the real temperature and real pressure. And talking about the calculation of altitude, you can use the formula over here to calculate the altitude of your location or wherever you are measuring your temperature and pressure. So this is basically how you can calculate the real temperature and real pressure. So other aspects of BMP180 you can just check out on the red sheet itself and let's uh, get into the code. So over here, this is the code that I have written in Java and with the help of Pi 4 j leaf and I am using Eclipse IDE over here. So again, if you are new to Java application development for Raspberry Pi and running your Java application on Raspberry Pi, you can check out my earlier videos on this, how to do those. So I'll not get into details like uh, project creation, adding libraries onto this. You can check out my earlier video on that. So getting into the code, uh, you can see over here, there is standard class definition, nothing else. And I have defined oversampling rate. For the time being, I am using one. So if you are like, you can use zero, you can use two and others, depending upon the accuracy you want. Then this is the buffer, uh, standard buffer that is used to convert the bytes or the bytes of data that is coming out of BMP180 to standard integers and sorts values. 
So and over here, this is the bus instance of I2C bus of Raspberry Pi, and it is using the bus one. And then again, we are creating a I2C device object that is device to interact with the BMP180 sensor that is having address zero cross seven seven. So this is the address of BMP180 module, and as you know, the BMP180 comes with like preset address. So this puts a limitation that you can't stack more than one sensor onto the same I2C bus. So if you are going for more sensors with the same I2C bus, you need some kind of multiplexers or something. Then uh, I have created a uh, array that is I again of 22 bytes length that uh, is used to hold the data that is coming out of the BMP 180 module. So first over here, as I said, we need to read out the calibration data. So over here, we are reading out the 22 bytes of calibration data out of the EEPROM of BMP 180. And from those, you can calculate the different variables like SC1, SC2 and all those calibration factors up to MD. Then after some delay, we are reading out the uncompensated temperature data from location that is 0 cross F6. So to do that, we first need to write 0 cross 2E onto the register 0 cross F4 and after some delay, we can read out the data from location 0 cross F6 and that is again contained into the like data array and we are calculating the data using buffer.trap. So this returns us integer value that is stored in or uncompensated temperature variable and over here I have used buffer to like convert the bytes of data into int and short int and all those things. So you can see over here the unsigned one I have used int with padding of zeros at the msbs and for signed sort integers I have used get sort. So this gives you signed values and this gives you unsigned values. So like that you can do it. And after reading out the uncompensated temperature data, we can read out the uncompensated pressure. So to do that, as I said, we need to again write the value 0 cross 3, 4, again plus added with some oversimplified rate shifted by 6 bits. So again, we are writing this into the 0 cross F4 control register. And after some delay, we can similarly read out data from 0 cross F6, 0 cross F7 and 0 cross F8 registers, that is 3 bytes of data into the data buffer variable and similarly we are calculating the uncompensated pressure data from the returned bytes of data from the BMP 180 module and again this is uh, the data calculated has to be shifted by 8 minus oversampling rate and all those things are actually on the mentioned on data sheet so you can uh, go through those in detail if you want like over here for uncompensated pressure value and you can check out yourself all those things and so after that you need to calculate the real temperature and real pressure data with some like mathematical formulations and all so I'm just keeping those part that is already in the like flow chat you can go through that and after that we are calculating the altitude by using the standard formula provided in the datasheet itself by taking absolute pressure or p0 equals 1013.25 and after that we are just printing out the calculated data onto the terminal so let's go ahead and run it once and we'll create our executable jar file to be run on raspberry pi so as usual we'll get error over here so don't worry about that now right click on your project and we just need to generate the executable jar files click on export click on next yep so again for this you can refer to my earlier tutorials so now we are having this test underscore leaf folder that contains all libraries that is required to run our application and this test.jar file that is our executable application that we are going to run in raspberry pi so before running our application on raspberry pi let's see how to connect the bmp 180 sensor with raspberry pi so as you can see over here the connection of BMP180 with the Raspberry Pi is pretty much straightforward. We just need the 3.3 volt of uh, this Raspberry Pi to be connected to the BMP180 sensor module over here and I have connected onto the V in pin and again the ground has to be connected to the ground and except those you just need two pins that is to be connected those are the STA and LCL pin and as the Raspberry Pi has unboard pull-ups for the I2C bus 
we just don't need any additional pull up resistors in the i2c bus to be connected over here and you can just straight ahead connect the hda and hcl pin of the vmp 180 module to the raspberry pi and that is pretty much everything nothing else is required as you can see over here and i'm using raspberry pi 2 over here so let's connect it to our network and we'll get back to putty and we'll run our generated application and we'll check out the temperature and pressure data thrown out of the pmp 180 module so for this actually i have given the schematic to uh, like how to connect the bmp 180 onto the raspberry pi in the description down below so make sure to check out that and let's get back to the pc so after the required connections are made let's open up winscp and we'll transfer these executable files over here the test clip and test.jar to our pi and we'll open up the putty terminal and before executing the application you can check if your raspberry pi is able to detect the i2c device that is attached to it or not and if you have not enabled the i2c bus you can simply do that by using sudo raspi config and get into advanced options sorry interfacing options and over here you just need to enable the i2c interface also hit yes button and it will enable the i2c interface and after this you just need to reboot your pi so after enabling the i2c interface you can simply check out if your raspberry pi is able to detect the i2c device attached to it by using the command i2c detect and uh, this over here is the bus that you have uh, attached your device onto like in my case that is one so over here you can see it is detecting a device at address 0 cross 77 that is the address of our bmp 180 module which we have programmed in our java application also so let's run our application that is using the command sudo java ja then path to that that is on desktop then the name along with the extension and you can see over here it is printing out the data that has been calculated by using the data thrown by the bmp 180 module so again you can uh, just modify the program or application that uh, actually i have linked down below in the description to suit your applications like if you are into iot or something or you want to log this data onto some server you can modify it and you can do it yourself so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have and you can definitely subscribe to my channel for latest updates and videos like this so thank you see you next time in my next video till then goodbye